Hello, my name is Carl Poutney and welcome to the Straw Bite Workshop. In the workshop today, a straightforward project using my new Inventables CNC that I've had since May and we'll be making this, a uh, automotive sign. It's a gift for a friend of mine and uh, I think he's going to love this and it was a really straightforward project to complete on the CNC. That's all coming up after this. Okay, let's start on the computer. This is a gift for somebody mad about the Austin Mini and I have a photograph of the bonnet badge from the car and that will be our starting point. The finished artwork needs to be a vector diagram and I'm using Affinity Designer to trace out the shape of the badge elements. I don't intend for this to be a in-depth look at the process, more an overview. There's plenty of software out there you can use to make vector drawings. Pick one you like and uh, search for YouTube tutorials on them. When you're finished, you should have an image made from shapes grouped into layers. We need the layers and the shapes in the CAM software easel uh, to select what to carve. The finished artwork needs to be saved in an SVG format, which is the standard file type for vector drawings. Now you can start with a bitmap if that's all you have. Here's a picture of the Union flag. I tend to use an online tracing service called vectorization.org, which uses uh, an edge finding algorithm to trace the image. It's quick and effective. Again, it produces the shapes and layers needed for the next step. Now I'm using Easel Pro here from Inventables, which for this sort of project is ideal. You can import your SVG, resize it and change the depth of cut. Once you've selected your material some of the defaults for that material are loaded into the cutting settings and you can see here I have a depth of cut of 1.5 millimeter on each pass for signs like this if I choose three millimeters then each shape or pocket as it's known in CNC jargon will be cut in two passes now with a single bit selected the results will be good but the level of detail will be determined by the diameter of the cutter as I'm using Easel Pro, I'm going to select a second detailing bit to V-carve the artwork. Once selected, Easel recalculates the toolpaths and updates its preview and time estimates so we can get to it. So let's home the machine and swap out the bit that I have for a 1 8 inch straight cutting bit. And you can see here that I've upgraded the nut and collet to the precision collet. Clamping the material down to the wasteboard is pretty simple but it's important it's firmly clamped down. I need to position the cutter at the zero point on the material. The artwork is centered on a 300 by 300 millimeter square in easel and I'm measuring to center that square onto the material. If I don't get it quite right and as I have cut the board over size, I can come back and trim this back down with the track saw later. Now with that done, I use the probe to set the Z axis height. Fit the dust shoe, spindle on, 
dust on. And let's carve. And of course, if you're new here, then please subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of any new videos. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, then leave them below too. Now with the roughing pass complete, we need to swap out the straight bit for a V-bit. Now for some reason the lock motors button in easel doesn't seem to prevent the gantry from shifting when I'm changing bits. And you can see here I move the gantry very slightly. I fix this issue uh, with some setting changes in the X controller and I'll cover that in a separate video. But for now, I'm just going to continue with the carve. You'll see later, the end result is acceptable and I don't think the receiver of the gift will really notice uh, when this picture is hanging on the wall. The 3D relief is pretty cool all the same. My aim of the video was to show you all the steps involved from idea to finish result. In reality, this project took around two hours to complete end to end and importantly follows several experimental projects to practice some of these techniques and to test and tune the machine. I'm probably not going to do a full review of this machine. However, if you're in the market for a CNC, then it's a machine I would recommend. I would also recommend the Open Builds Work Bee from Oosnest, uh, which is a UK based company because what you're looking for in a machine is not just the build of the machine but the after sales service and uh, from Inventables and Oosnest the service is great okay so that just needs painting I'm using basic artist acrylic paints for this. They're water-based and available in all the colours that you'll need. You don't need to be particularly precise. Any paint that's left on the top surface will be sanded off later. just make sure you get into all of the corners. The paint does raise the grain on the MDF but it adds texture which I quite like so I'm not going to be sanding back and doing a second coat. And there we go. So the magic happens when we come back with the sander. Everything is properly covered. I've got into all of the edges. We leave that to dry and then we come back and sand in a while. I'm using 240 grit sandpaper in my random orbit sander. You could use a coarser grit, say 180, but I found you get far better result and a cleaner edge between the top surface and the sides of the car with 240 and it just takes a bit longer.
and there we have it. This is the completed sign. Uh, it still needs uh, uh, a top finish and I'll come back and varnish that. I either use a water-based varnish or a spray lacquer. Either of those will do. Uh, spray lacquer in matte or uh, satin works quite nicely. And there we have it. So anyway, I hope you've really enjoyed this video. Uh, this is the first build video incorporating, incorporating the CNC and I guess the CNC has been the star of the show. Uh, but you know, the machine is proving incredibly useful in the workshop. I can set that up and it can be off making something whilst I'm doing something back here on the workbench. Anyway, uh, from the workshop for now, cheerio.